My name is Liam Reeves, I'm a glassblower and I've been doing this for the last 24 years. Today we are blowing a bell jar for a reproduction of an early 18th century vacuum pump. Initially, we gather the glass from the furnace using what's called a blowing iron, which is essentially a, a stainless steel tube. And then we shape the glass using um, wooden blocks and newspaper. We soak that in water. The, the burning action of the glass creates a carbon layer and then the water in the newspaper uh, turns into steam and creates a cushioning layer so you can shape the glass but because it's malleable you can you, it's much more versatile and you can use it to create shapes and do lots of different things. The glass blower then blows down the tube to introduce air into the glass to inflate it. You use the air itself but then usually in conjunction with centrifugal force and gravity and other shaping tools, including the newspaper, uh, to create shapes and push the glass in different directions. In the middle of the process, I create a bottleneck on the end of the bowl of the jar. To do that, I use uh, basically oversized steel tweezers and you pinch the glass and then stretch a, a neck part out The glass cools down very rapidly, so it goes from being very liquid to being at, like solid, you know, over quite a short period of time. So part of being a glass blower is being able to work the glass in different ways at different stages. So glass blowing is very much a two-person activity. You can do a certain amount on your own, but it really does need two people. Glass blowing essentially hasn't really changed at all in a thousand years. It's essentially the same process that it was then. The only difference really is that now we use electronic controllers to measure the temperature and we use gas to fire the furnace. It's a, it's a very difficult craft to learn. It takes six years to learn the basics and 12 to be a master. It can be extremely frustrating. It can be punishingly hot. At the same time, it's extremely addictive. It can be very, very good fun. It can be very satisfying. It's all of those, really. <laughs>